guys. <laughs> I'm Jenny Zagrino. <laughs> and I'm Jen <laughs> Saunderson. Saunderson. And welcome Last to the names. Filling is Mutual, the podcast where we talk about food, moments, memories, <laughs> all the good things. <laughs> all of it. All the things. And it's your birthday today, Jen. Woo. It is. Hell Yay. yeah. <laughs> we have all these assortment of treats Yay. that you only ate one piece of. I was already gifted an ice cream cake and donuts, so I'm a little good sugar- high right now well, your work sucks <laughs> they was so nice like they locked the door and i had to jiggle and be like let me in they're like we're surprising you <laughs> I like they locked you in the room no. i was like what <laughs> it's a weird panic room yeah <laughs> i'm claustrophobic we're surprising you <laughs> no stay in there wait for the surprise the next three days Is that smoke you've been <laughs> surprised um if you're watching this you will see that next to us is the wonderful, lovely, pink haired cat oh. Eve. <laughs> you can pick up on the pink hair through the podcast if you Yeah, she has pink hair, in. pink glasses. Like is that is that pink? Is yeah. it pink? Living her yeah. pink life. What is the what does pink sound like? Here it is. This oh, is pink. Actually, there's a singer named. Yeah, there pink. is an actual singer named Pink. <laughs> it's fine. Uh Cat Eves is a friend of the cast Yay. and she's a stylist. I mm-hmm. am. Hell yeah. She's my personal stylist. Ooh, personal. Uh, uh, uh. And she lives in my building. And we live I in the do. same building. I don't yeah, I'm you not don't. I don't live there. <laughs> I'm not part of that. Things would be I think so should, easy though. if you did. I know. I'm yeah. not part of that crew. I think you should. I think one of us should be on every floor. You'd be on the first floor. That floor. Would. Where the floors. ladies no, dying. I want to be on the third floor. Ooh, the yeah, ladies dying? <laughs> yeah, she's she's in hospice. You can take her no. place. I mean, we don't know how long. I don't want to go in a dead woman's <laughs> you got Every time. place is a dead woman's However, place. However, though, True. they do they I think they legally have to lower the price if someone died in it. Oh. <gasps> Maybe I want to take the, the nice dead <laughs> lady's place. Is it a nice That's, place? It's going to be remodeled Is that and everything. Factual? Yes. I, I think hope they that's do. Factual. Well, I know, yeah. especially if, oh. if someone commits suicide, oh, she yeah. would have she's to lower the price. If, yeah. Nah, and she's if one, it's like her body's time, committing so suicide it's by itself. Nice. Are there like levels she's, of this? Where she wants to live in a nice way. So. Yeah. No, if you ever building. see like a super nice house that is way too cheap mm. for what it is, someone Murder died. House. Someone done died. Some someone died. House. Someone got murdered. Well, something I'm real bad happened. I love ghost stories. So I'm really into that. Like I, we got into our apartment and everything is super new now because they renovated it, which I'm not complaining about at all. Yeah. It's very different. From However, I keep Thanks. feeling like they might have like, <laughs> they probably cleared out some ghosts and I'm like a little disappointed. No, they probably you know, got some ghosts activated. Oh. Yeah, you think there were ghosts who were living in that carpet before you showed up? Oh, yeah, but we don't have carpet anymore. That's yeah, the because thing. now carpet. the ghosts are out in the ceiling. They rolled them up. <laughs> <laughs> the ghosts in on the ceiling. <laughs> Wait, The ew. ghosts is just everywhere. Nope. You're just breathing ghosts now. Mm. All the ghost <laughs> fibers. I literally t- walk around the apartment out loud and I'm like, I hope we have ghosts. Like, I want them to let me know. You want that? I guess. Never. In have a- you ever seen one? No. Oh. And I think that's why. Like I, in apartments I've lived in before, I definitely had energies, but I've never seen one. Like I lived in a hundred year old Victorian in Oakland. Damn. Yeah. And that Dreams. building had some real history. There was like a drug dealer who was like a kingpin of some sort. And he shot and killed his daughter's boyfriend right in front of the house. <gasps> Oh, but it wasn't in the house. So Not in the house. That's some straight up Conjuring <laughs> Three <laughs> plot right that's there. That's the only story I know. But, but there like, was nothing. Did you feel anything in the house? Um, I definitely felt energies, but I was just like, "Hey, y'all, we're friends." <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you got hey, murdered, ghost boyfriend. No I think that's deal. the thing is, I just wanted to be like, "Yo, we're both people." <laughs> well, technically, Not I mean, really. you were once a people. Now you're not. Why are there ghost pets? Like, why? Why is it only you like know, there's ghost people? They are only are pets. from like the Victorian era onto the present. Like, there's well, no. Maybe it's the consciousness. Like, animals don't have consciousness like we do. That we can leave that conscious energy behind. Mm-hmm. Have you ever seen a ghost? I haven't seen a ghost, but I'm I'm just wondering why there's no like there's no like. People from Christ's time or yeah, like, the Dark true. Ages or anything. It's just like no. Nope. But there. Are, but well. I guess, well, I don't know. But, I mean, if you go to England, they do have, like, True. ghosts haunted by, like, 1634, the woman in white. Yeah, I mean, Anne Boleyn is yeah. all up in those ghost stories um, of the tower. Can I just say, I listened to my friend's comedy album, mm-hmm. Langston Kerman. Oh, yes. He never roommates for a year. 
he wrote a whole joke about me. About you? <laughs> on his album. Was it about I you yelling at Nazis? Him. No, it's about, um, that's not on my album. That's but <laughs> I did write a joke, a joke about Jen trying to be like the, um, the white woman of the Czech Republic. I don't like these Nazis. They're white there. <laughs> hey, Nazis. <laughs> Nazis, oh. and I'm just like, no. I love please. it. They were Nazis there. I was yeah, not having Nazi. it. There's always time to punch there's a Nazi. There's always time to yell at Nazis. Like, yeah. what are they going to... Oh, okay, mean, there's a lot that they could. I'm just saying, you're, no, in a foreign, sure. you're in a foreign country. You don't know any, like, the... I mean, because well, she they went to the cop, like she went to the cops to be like, did you know there are Nazis? Oh. They were joining there. each other, and, and the they cops were yelling, like, and the guy we had an American Fine. accent, yeah. and I was not having it. I'm like, this is not what we're bringing you to were, Prague. You were the ultimate take-me-to-your-manager <laughs> white That's woman. Amazing. And then you talk to someone about these Nazis. <laughs> Wait, I want to hear about Langston's joke yes. about Oh, sorry. So, Langston and I lived together for a year um in New York, and I remember him telling this joke, but, like, I heard on the album, I'm like, oh, this is, like, a full thing about how um just like about um he's like i used to live with a white girl and she believed in ghosts which i did and i remember the exact moment of us talking about it because i was trying to write a joke about ghosts yes. and about how like um ghosts uh like the ghosts in america aren't old they're just like Ghosts from 1985. Like, we don't have cool ghosts I that are like, like pirates and shit. Ghosts gotta go somewhere. You can't be ghosts for hundreds and hundreds or thousands and thousands of years. Like, you gotta move on, you know? Well, I mean, how do you know? I just do. No, okay. Kat just has Expert. a lot of theories. I just right. got some ghost theories. Spurt over here. This is my theory. Ghost spurt. She's a ghost spurt. <laughs> on life. Ghost spurt. Ghost spurt. Oh my God. Kat. I really want that to be real. I don't want to be an expert though. I just want to continually be like, hey guys, are you here? Like that's, that's my version of ghost hunters. <laughs> They're here. They're here. I don't want to talk to Kat. Yeah. I don't oh. approve of hey. her hair color, well, said want... Ghost A. Hey, like, guys. Are you here? Is anybody here? Hi, I'm just, I just moved in. I just wanted to say hi. Uh, but, you know, if you guys, I'm going to be watching TV. If you guys want to hang out. You guys a horrible want a version Netflix of New chill? Girl, but it's just cat with ghost roommates. It's just me being like, yes, I am going to binge The Bachelor. Y'all ready? <laughs> You guys want to watch the bat? Well, let me tell you about it. Well, let me tell you. You get a slice of carrot cake, a little vanilla chai, and you sit down and sit watch down. some Sex in the City. I'm going to educate you. We're going to. Oh, she's yep. been off the air for so long. I know. Sex in the City. <laughs> that was like, like a thing I did it? in college. I don't know. It just it was a memory that came. It was a ghost memory that came back. <laughs> <laughs> Never watched Sex in the City. I can honestly tell you I've maybe watched two episodes, both with Barishnikov in it because he's hot. And that's yeah, it. true. Does not hold up, but when you're Barishnikov, uh, or <laughs> he holds it. He holds like he it. holds it up. He holds it all <laughs> up. Muscles. Oh yes. Ah. Yeah. Um. I'd like to go to his Russian tea room. Um. I don't know what that means. That, that was all it meant. Just I just wanted asking to know what time, time it was. was. No, I didn't know what I meant. <laughs> But okay, so you brought us um, yeah. for your delicious treat. You brought us some Irish soda bread. No, it's or not what Irish is bread. it? It's beer bread. No, beer bread. You're wrong. But it's made whatever. With, it is. I, I think it alcohol. Is basically, Ireland. I get it. It's basically the Where's, same thing. Oh, probably. and you got a little stick of butter here, which I love. Yeah, I butter. melted it in my purse. Love it. So Hello, tell us, you tell are. us about this bread. It's actually Jenny's Kegel Crusher bag. So I melted oh, is it in it? your bag. Ooh. Yeah. So tell us about this bread. Okay, so the oh, deal wow. with this bread is that I am not really a great cook. I only Perfect. cook sometimes. <laughs> I cook whenever I feel like it, and the rest of the time I am a pretty good grub hubber. I'm an excellent grub hubber. Yeah. Um, but this is something I can make and not fuck up. Although I almost fucked it up today. So there how did that. you almost fuck this up? I put it at the wrong temperature. So, oh my god! That. I guess yeah. it's that new oven you got, huh? But it's literally it's three ingredient three ingredients. So it's flour, it's a can of beer. I used Guinness. <laughs> Get that yeast, but there's and, no so that's the only yeast in this thing. It's the yeah, beer. it's flour, a can of beer, and three tablespoons of sugar. Okay, well, so, some people wow. really like Guinness out there. Yeah. It's just a Beer All right, pancake. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put butter on it. You want some butter it. on it? Please. You gotta have the butter. Um, I feel like the some butter. salt on top of that butter. I just, would be good. 
Is it unsalted or salted? Uh, I don't know. I've been eating it without salt. Fucking good, rookie but. mistake over here. It doesn't come with salt in it. It comes with sugar because it's kind of sweet. I'm going to split this piece with you. Is that okay? Yeah, it's pretty it's heavy. Bit, it's so here's the piece. thing is like Guinness was made as this like it's supposed to be a meal, right? Right. So this it's the first bread liquid is basically diet. Healthy. It's you healthy know what? bread. This butter. <laughs> Give me your bread. Give me um, your bread, Jen. This is a lot of bread. It is yeah. a lot. Of, it's a hunk of bread. And if you have been eating sugar all day, this is not going to feel have, any better. So well, you're welcome. Happy birthday. Oh my God. I should have brought you some carrots or some shit. <laughs> well, how is this? Uh, is this something that your parents taught you? Yeah. Or your grandparents so taught you? It is kind. I guess it's kind of a funny story. Mm-hmm. Um, which is that uh, we're my, here this for is the kind of funny story. Yeah. It's not the totally funny story. It's no, just kind that's of a different show. Uh, This is my stepmom's recipe. She sent it to me. My stepmom and I have never gotten along, ever. Perfect. And the only things that we agree on are mod cloth (laughs) and her baking. That's it. She thinks I'm ridiculous. How old is your stepmom? Okay, wait. She's in her 70s. So before, so this is the part. So we're going to eat it, but we're also going to have some pretty sexy sex noises while we eat Mm. it. So let's eat a little bit. Try it. Not the mic. (laughs) <laughs> mm, this yeah. is so good that's it just do that oh, well it's bread oh it's so moist and but also kind of hard at the top <laughs> it's a hard top oh, yeah it has a very interesting like craggy top yeah and then with this like is that a compliment it's not a sliceable bread what? <laughs> it's not really a sliceable bread. No. Maybe. It's kind of hard to slice. Yeah. But it's good for like, it's a good breaking bread. A you good what? Break, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have like bread in my mouth. Um, <laughs> It's a good like breaking bread. Like it's it's better to pull off a piece than it is to like try to slice it. Oh. I think. It, it toasts really well though. You know what's a good bread like that? Challah. Challah. Challah is a great, just break it off. I love Shalom. Bread. Um, my favorite thing is the Oprah Weight Watchers commercial. I love bread. I love bread. <laughs> <laughs> I it's love someone that like slowed that down. Uh, uh, <laughs> like audio wise, it was great. Fun bread facts for all you paleo pieces of shit out there. <laughs> um, they've been eating bread for 14,000 years. They found yeah. toast in Jordan. So your paleo whole thing about being paleo, like, oh, people didn't eat bread back then. They didn't eat wheat. That's bullshit. Yeah. That's how we started civilizations is through agriculture. Mm-hmm. This is, there's a reason why they call it the bread of life. Yeah. But because also, bread. yeah. And I think I brought this up in, um, in the podcast that uh, you and I have, the Gaudi Positive. Of, like, mm-hmm. people died. Mm-hmm. People died 500 years ago. Why do you want to eat like they ate? Right. <laughs> they died. They died so early. You know, <laughs> bring it back. Yeah, also I just I will say this. I did actually learn this very fun fact. Um, there's this great show that I love that you can watch on YouTube. It's called like Hidden Killers of the Tudor Household. Ooh. So it just goes through like it's this British what? show. I'm into and it's, it. So Tell it's like Are there ghosts? shit that would have killed you <laughs> during a specific era. So like during the Edwardian period, electricity just showed up. So mm. and it was all the it wires just shows up. Just showed up. What but up? the wires were uncovered and you would just hook up your electric shit to this one wire you have in your oh, house. Oh no. Wow. Yeah. The dumbest stuff, including your vibrator, because you could mm. do that. Mm. Um, but so people would like just be electrocuted by their houses, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, in the Tudor era, chimneys like just oh, they yeah. just exploded all the time. Yeah. But one of the big things they found was that um, <laughs> that uh, they basically found that like when sugar became much more readily available in Tudor England. That people started dying younger because they were getting all these tooth cavities. Oh, yeah. And oh, like, yeah. Teeth are sweet. Yeah. These silent killers. Did you know that Elizabeth... Sorry, I just derailed your thing. Elizabeth the first was had all kinds of teeth problems and ate a shitload of sugar. So yellow teeth became fashionable. And people, <laughs> really? people would put... And they would... And black teeth. So people would like put stuff on their teeth if they weren't oh, black or yellow because no. they wanted to be like the queen. The original influencers. Oh. Well, it's the same thing with like uh, King Philip in Spain. Who he had a list because he was an inbred king. Oh, so yeah. He, yeah, so he's inbred and had, like, a fucked up jaw from all the incest. <laughs> oh, yeah, they all were like this. Yeah, that's called the Medici it's like face. A, yeah, ah, it's, a, yeah yes. it's a permanent duck face. Yeah, and so 
He had a lift, so when he said the F, ah. so that's why in Spain they say that they're... is why. Yeah. <gasps> oh wow. So that's why it's Barcelona. That's Barcelona. Like... Yeah, because the king was fucked up. They were just like, we don't want to make him feel. Is bad. that like a weird oh, inverted wow. ableism? Like, what is that? What? That's like a weird inverted <laughs> ableism. What if we just all we also start talking like this? And we just, like, all of us with our we did, hands. Oh, we did and we all spoke like this. I can't. Oh, I thought I was going with Trump. I like, almost we're did all anyway. Just talking like this. Oh, I mean, <laughs> Jenny, you should work on your impression. I know it's not good. It's, I, I it can't. Right. It was not. I don't want to be that close to him. <laughs> I was like, well, it's either Andrew Dice Clay or <laughs> but a boom, but a but to that fact though about too. the sugar that. If someone yeah. takes it as me being like, you should stop eating sugar, we have toothbrushes now, so we like, do. fucking relax. Um, what's your take on, speaking of tooth health, <laughs> teeth health, what's your take on on the expanding selection of flavors of toothpaste? Mm. It's a hot take. I, this is an important okay, question. Okay, I own two different types. You're the Mavis brand. Made in Italy, you know, where teeth oh. are Oh, you're getting healthy. the fancy... European um, shit. Are their teeth like healthier? Do we have No, facts on they're that? probably bad, I but I have a jasmine mint. <laughs> oh. Which every time I use it, the minute I use it, I'm like, this is terrible. And then I'm like, okay, I like yeah. it. And I think I have like a tangerine mint one too. Oh, that sounds disgusting. Yeah. See, this is what I'm talking about. We got to stop with these like fruit flavored toothpaste. It's weird. I don't know. Strawberry is not so bad if you're a kid. I just want to talk about because <laughs> now I have the hot take on what flavor of Tums you use because I have heartburn as a 34 year old. Yeah. So, oh, you're asking me specifically. Yeah. yeah. Mint or fruit? Fruit. Ugh. I yeah. hate the fruit they're like ones. Necco wafers. You get like a yeah, they're awful. They're you get like a bad. lemon flavored one, and you're like, wow, this is the worst part of my day. They're all bad. Uh-huh. It's it's supposed so you don't burn your esophagus. Yeah, I choose. What heartburn. do you guys want? You want a fucking treacle pie surprise or some shit? Yeah. What? No. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Oh, poop. All right. No. <laughs> a treacle's a type of it's a it's a dessert. Oh. Oh. You mean Let's a look trifle? this up. All right. A you know what? Yeah. I gotta go get my phone. You that fell. Why would you guys talk do about this? I'm gonna Google this shit. All right. No. You Fine. fucking do you do it. Listen, I just want to ask you about all the non-edible things. Talk about bread, asshole. You were saying that your (laughs) mom... How... I'm I'm very curious. You said that your mom... Your stepmom is in her 70s and the only thing you agree about is this bread. Wait, shut up. A treacle is an uncrystallized syrup made during the refining of sugar. Okay. And you can have a treacle tart. All right. All right, continue. Thanks, mom. Um, No, I... You know, I... We don't... I wouldn't say that we agree on this bread. Specifically, I would say that we... (laughs) We do agree on the spread, uh huh. But we also agree her cooking is really good. Like she would love to be on British Bake Off. It's very upsetting to her that she's not British. So How is she not? Happen. They have it in America. I auditioned for it. What? And I got pretty far, and then uh, they were asking me all these ways, like if I've made a part of me, uh, if I've made a baked Alaska. Oh. If I've made a trifle, and unfortunately I hadn't made a lot of the items that they were requesting, mm. and they said they liked my personality, uh-huh. uh, but they didn't, <laughs> which is wow. like, oh, first date issues we here. like your personality, <laughs> but Not, frankly, <laughs> you're an idiot. Yeah, it was, uh, we like your personality, but you don't have enough experience, and I was like, that's fair, because my... Mm. Bi- my uh, uh, was it the special bake that you make where they don't give you the full instructions was a bread and it came out like oh. biscotti yeah. and everybody else had this beautiful bread sitting next to them and I was just like oh I biff this really hard. Well have you thought about going on Nailed It instead? No I feel like that, like, <laughs> I, had I, that, bit, oh, that I feel like it. that would hurt. I really want to go on Nailed It so bad when I realized that you get $10,000 if you win I was like I could do this shit that sounds great Are they all supposed to be bad or yeah. you know, yeah. you know but they I still want it to be the to best. Like, yeah, the you're best supposed of the, to try to be the best. Yeah, so yeah. it's not like the worst. Like you have to be the the best of the worst. Okay. Look, it's, I still made semi edible bread even by making no, it, it at, the, bread. at the wrong temperature. So yeah. I mean, I think I could win nailed it is what I'm saying and get the ten thousand yeah. dollars and pay off part of my credit card debt. Mm. Just part of it. After taxes, yeah. America. Yeah. Yeah. You might as well just go on a trip. Mm. <laughs> just spend the money. YOLO. Just um, do that. Yeah. I want someone to get it wrong. Like, just get YOLO wrong. What would they, how would they say it? YOLO. <laughs> LOLO. <laughs> you know, you only live. It's like how my mom would say it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you like, only live, live overextended. <laughs> do we have any more? Do we have any more bread facts that we can just say off the top of our dome? Mm. Uh, <laughs> I did not. I did not prepare <laughs> bread facts because I did not know what yeah. we were going to be eating. Um, yeast. Uh, I don't know. Nobody is, talks to me about um, Alive. Well, yeast is alive. Well, mm-hmm. uh, and fermentation and alcohol are yeast farts. Oh. Oh my gosh! I no. So there's a, there's a fun <laughs> fact. Yeast. Farts. I think uh, yarn bacterial farts. Well, there's okay. Enjoy your. Bacterial I just want to talk about the best bread I've ever had. Hala. Everybody thinks that, oh, like that's a, your best friend. I like bread. a babka. It's great. No, but where, where, when, who, what? I don't, I don't Describe measure my life me. in bread. I do. Okay. You should. Bread is fucking good. I measure good. them in experiences. <laughs> oh my God. Um, I'm trying that's to think what is the best bread. I have bread. a favorite bread. Okay. My favorite okay. bread was from Iceland where they make the rye bread underground next yes. to the geysers. And so the heated, um, the earth is heated. It's, there's so much volcanic activity. So you leave the dough overnight in an area next to the hot springs. And then when you come back, you have this really good moist bread. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the rye bread is delicious delicious with their butter which is just this deep fat butter they're the ones that also have the skier which is a yogurt oh. but it's really a cheese uh which i'm is getting also so delicious. turned on hearing about this let's go and i love it because they also make a rye bread uh they take the stale rye bread and they make it into an ice cream mm. where it has pieces of the rye bread in it i think that's really delicious mm. look oh fact. i didn't i didn't like the rye ice you cream like the rye ice cream no. would you like the shark you no, I didn't eat the person. shark. <laughs> I went to Iceland. All I ate was soup. That's literally. Why? Did you have okay. the lobster bisque that they have there? Because that's amazing. No, so I had. They have this great lamb soup because mm-hmm. all they fucking have there are like sheep and lamb. Just which haven't gone out. Which haven't changed say, for eight since eight hundred AD. I appreciate you guys telling me this story as someone who's not been to Iceland. It's great, <laughs> but I want you to. But I need this. I'm Go teaching you some <laughs> travel hacks. So everything Ooh. in Iceland is fucking expensive. It's it is twenty bucks expensive. for soup, but there's there's one specific place you go to that's in Reykjavik where you get unlimited soup. Oh. So for like 20 bucks, Wait, is this like you the get Olive all Garden the of soup. Iceland? This is Kinda. the all the soup and bread ski- but bread it's, but it's, it's owned by these really two super hot Icelandic, you know, they're dudes. all gorgeous Viking men. Oh, they're so gorgeous. They're true. Like, and they're shit. all related to each yeah, other. Yeah, t- the dating app. You heard about the yeah, dating app. Yeah, there's a dating app that, that makes sure... That the person you were dating yeah. it tells you their family line. So to your you. kids don't say Barcelona. Wow, <laughs> Barcelona. really? Yeah, yeah. that's hot. It's only three hundred thousand people there. I like that. Yeah, I made a Twitter joke about Iceland that um, a lot of Jews did not like, which I was like, oh. Why, I'm so mad at you. It didn't even make sense. I was like, um, Iceland only has two hundred Jews, which is strange because it has so many icebergs. <laughs> and uh, you dork. I know. And then there is this one specific woman who was just like. Jenny, this is the wrong time to make Ooh. jokes like this. Uh-oh. And I was like, about icebergs? What are you talking about? <laughs> it was the anniversary of the Titanic. And how oh, dare was you? It? There was nobody from Iceland on it, but they you guys know? love Leonardo DiCaprio. Do you know the date? No. Do you have this committed to memory? Do you? I just know it's 1912. That's her. Oh, wow. Okay, so not the date, just the year. You know what? I know more (laughs) than both of you. Tea day. (laughs) My husband went. Is it tea day? It's tea day. (laughs) That's not a thing. That's when you teabag your husband. (laughs) (laughs) With real tea. (laughs) He's like, we're having tea tea time. (laughs) My husband went. penis? (laughs) That's so, not like, no. why, why is this That's a thing every every <laughs> every oh, show? Just... Why do we bring up Don's pain? Like, what is that? <laughs> what is that? I don't know. Man. Every show, it's like it's like an Easter egg, or people just skipping around. <laughs> just, like, I want to know more about Don's penis. Is it sweetest. wavy? He's just is it so lovely, and so none of us ask that. I don't know. Just assume we it's all, coming what, in the next wait, episode. So I wait, just describe live in it world. in bread loafs. Just kidding. Don't yeah. do it. Wait, I do it. There. I was there. Yeah, she was like, <laughs> I had it. Is huh. it more of a sesame bread Someone stick told me to do something about a... food. I must go <laughs> A baguette. I like mean, no baguette. one should be a baguette. Like a good that, they crusty couldn't, Italian well, It's one of those tiny baguettes. A baby baguette? And I'm saying tiny as in, as in what yeah. we think of a regular baguette. Yeah, I mean, I mean yeah. half size baguette. Half a baguette. I mean, He's half in the baguette. Like, yeah, is it like a Subway like bread? If you were to like, cut this, why 
am I doing this? <laughs> if it looks anything like that, nightmare. No, if, it, if, what? If, it, if, it, if it looked like the craggy, which is delicious, it is uh, top it's not of, it's of like if, if any edible. penis looked craggy, I'd be a good concerned. Craggy dick. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually it's in, it's in my OK Cupid profile. A craggy so. dick. Yeah, you're married. I am. Shh, don't tell. <laughs> I'm the only one that's single. I think every episode we've done, I'm the, like the only one that's been single. This talk whole about time. singles just for Jenny, and then we talk about pain of my husband. Just, I do um, wish that I had a dating app. I just like I like swiping for people. I like yeah. choosing for people. <laughs> Like I want, uh, I just want to swipe. You just I don't want control. Yeah, I don't even want to match with anybody. I just want to <laughs> swipe and see who's out there. You just want to know what just the so options I can be would like, have been. I want to know that they're all bad. I think is most of it. I can't. But I can't say. I also want to say count. anything about dating apps. Why you oh, got off of right? Them? Well, because. Oh, I, you know, the future might hold something. The future. With well, dating apps. I can tell you, I had some really, uh, before I met Rob, I had some very interesting OkCupid okay dates. Yeah. That's, but that that's was how years I met my ago. husband, though. Yeah. She that was met her husband on OkCupid. Okay that was 10 years ago. And I, I have friends that I met from. Like, there were dudes that I met on it who I'm still friends with. But there was not a love match. But I did meet my husband online, so. No, you didn't. You met him at the at the oh, cheese didn't. place. Oh, I didn't meet him. You met him at the cheese place. Oh, please I don't tell me. Kat her story. No, wait, did you guys <laughs> see each other online and then you met like I don't know what the cheese place is. I at thought he. All. I thought you met. This is what I thought your story, story was: is that you guys he was making um, grilled cheese. No, and that's how you guys met. No, we met on an, on a website that existed. It was like a social network for hipster friendster. Teens. No, it was before Friendster. What was that thing? Is before Friendster. It was it a, so old. it was it was called Lipstick Party. Don't Google that. It's I didn't know what that it was. Yeah, I don't. Like I a, literally didn't know what that was until a few years ago. I'll just tell you, it's apparently like a blowjob party, and all the women wear lipstick, and then the dick at the end has his, lots yeah, of lipstick rainbows. on it. Yeah, I mean that's kind of a fun art project. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that sounds like that was that would be at like MoMA, right? That is right, how you find true. out who who jerks it off with the weird upward the weird swing, hand. like they pop it. That's how you find out. So we were talking the last one is there's two types of guys how they jerk off either oh. this uh-huh. or they do the, the claw, the claw I call reversal. It the claw. Why can't I? The claw. I just can't <laughs> help but think of Jim Carrey. I think it's like liar. The claw. What is it? Liar, yes, liar, liar, liar. It's like the claw. It's coming You're to a- jack you off. You have to spend more time claw. with my- Yes. Oh my god. With my family. <laughs> oh, what a heartwarming childhood. <laughs> I yeah. can't so. lie. I claw it. That's hilarious. <laughs> just- so back to bread fat. So bread. <laughs> Neither of you said what your favorite bread was. Um, I I said what my favorite bread was, but she, but you didn't give us the story. Yeah. Store. Oh, okay. All right. You go talk about your favorite bread. Well, my oh, finger <laughs> this piece of bread. Mm. You are, no, you're part of me. Part of me you're wants it, and then the other part of me is like, don't. My favorite bread was <laughs> yes. in Venice. Oh, it was the most delicious. Italy or wait, wait. California? Wait, it was from Venice. As in the Venetian in Las Vegas. <laughs> and oh, it was, so, I know, this is the closest I've gotten. It's a great so hotel. Far. I'm not going to lie. It great is hotel. Great. I love it. This restaurant, I, I, look, I get that the stupid sky doesn't change. My mom was there with me and she's like looking up. She's like, I know that that's not real, but is that real? Like, she doesn't believe that she's just, the, the clouds oh are done so well, I guess. But even at midnight. Oh, I know. It's daytime all day. (laughs) Um, Welcome to Alaska. She did start asking me. She's like, "Does it change tonight?" I was like, "No, mom. That's a painting." That's <laughs> faint. Um, no, uh, the best bread I've ever had was at a restaurant at the, in the Venetian, and I couldn't believe it. I that is not where I would expect to have the best bread ever, but it was amazing, and it was one of the ones that makes you feel like you're in Venice. Okay, you know, okay. like California. Yes, Venice, California. <laughs> There's a lot of dude bros. No, it's like you know you have an Italian waitress yeah. and all that. What about like uh, okay for. Because you reminded me of my favorite bread, but my favorite bread was coupled with prosciutto. So it's like, oh, 
I'm sorry. Over pronounce uh, that again. Prosciutto? Excuse, excuse. Io vorrei mangiare qualcosa. Yeah. I'm Italian sometimes. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm not well, going to be a were. dick. It's like prosciutto. <laughs> it's got prosciutto and Listen. capicola on it. It's got bagulli yeah. piece Dude. of shit. How, I, well, it. that's the thing is I'm like, you're East Coast. How dare you not say prosciutto? Prosciutto? You know, if you're from America, if you're Italian American, you just don't say the last. Yeah, but what vowel. about the Italian? But I was in Italy. Would you say? So I was saying it like they were saying. Oh, you're saying it like like an Italian. Yeah. Not well, Italian probably. American. I don't know. My prosciutto. dad becomes Italian. Did I tell you this? My dad wants to be Italian so bad. It's not. I mean, you who wouldn't just, want it? it? It's I. He just like wants it like he wants he really believes that we're secretly italian he just did an ancestry thing oh yeah we're waiting for those results i cannot wait he wants to be Italian, but we walk into this pizza so there's this really really good pizza place it's just like in a strip mall in i don't know bergen new jersey or some shit on the way up to where my dad grew up in upstate new york and uh He's, he always stops at the same pizza place on the way up and the way back. Doesn't matter. He just always has to go there. And every time he walks in, he suddenly becomes this guy from New Jersey. Oh, God. I love that. The last time, <laughs> the last time that I went with him, it was around the holidays. And he was like, why don't we say, <laughs> why don't we say <laughs> Merry oh. Christmas anymore? And he's like oh, using his yeah. hand. And I was just like, oh, dad, oh, I don't, I no. can't. Oh, it was a lot for me. It was really, it's just so funny because I've never seen him code switch so hard. Oh, I mean, like, so I was recently at my dad's hometown of Rome, New York, mm. which is. Oh, America's Fucking Italy. Italian. Yes. Yeah. Like even, even though like. It's it's like, you know, Walmart's or whatever. It's still like, you know, we had tomato pie, which oh. is just this amazing like focaccia yeah. with just tomato sauce and like a little light sprinkling of um, uh, Parmesan. You, and I ate it like they mm. they're like, you eat it cold. What are you doing? Put it in the oven. Mm. And I was like, OK. And it's it was good, so way. good. And like just like we had that we had. um What was the thing I sent you? Oh, gosh. that was like oh, this. it was like a pasta donata, but it wasn't a pasta donata. Yeah, it was like it's like this little pie with like just this Egg amazing custard. vanilla custard filling in it, mm. and like so when we go there, and I can see in my dad's eyes like the awakening of like I am Italian, Aww. like I'm not from Minnesota. I am like an <laughs> Italian, full blood from Rome, New York. Fucking these are my streets, kind of shit, and it's like so beautiful to watch. Yeah, did he and, abandon his? Is like born again Christianism in that moment become no. Catholic or what? <laughs> I mean, no, he's still cat. He's born again Catholic. Oh, he's born again Catholic. So he's still, I mean, he just oh. doubled down on that oh, shit. You choose. Mm. You chose wow. Catholic. Well, he was born Roman Catholic. Catholic. He was chose. born Roman Catholic. Tried to convert to Judaism, and they were like, "No, you can't do that." Then he converted to Islam for fifteen Who years. Says you can't and then do the, that. The rabbis. Some rabbis are like, "I don't know. if I think you want this." Oh, yeah. Okay. Like, like Judaism like, is like the one. <laughs> Judy's like the one religion where we're just kind of like, do you want this? Are you sure you want this? I don't think you want this. Why don't you come back in five years? See if you want this. Then you can show up, right? But for the women, they're very much like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to convert because if you don't, then your kids aren't going to be Jewish. We need your kids to be Jewish. Yeah, yeah. get so those it, eggs. Yeah, so I'm sure the rabbi was like, they'll be fine. <laughs> like, <laughs> your kids will be Jewish. I'm not worried about you. But yeah, yeah so my dad does a lot of soul Shit. searching. Oh. So yeah, so now he's back to being like a Roman Catholic. I get it though. Hard, like hard. If someone was like, no, you can't, you can't come to Seder dinner or any of these things. Because I just think Jewish food is the best food. Oh and gosh. That's what we down. had for our wedding. It was yeah. just a Jewish deli that was doing mm. a breakfast buffet. I was like, yes, please. All yeah, but the they had bacon. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I like what I like. I really were like, we had Jewish food. It was eggs and bacon and, and bacon. pancakes. Yes. <laughs> it was like, it was the hottest food okay. I want. <laughs> it was my day. <laughs> <laughs> but the bun was hollow, so it was yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was fine. Um, wait, so the so the best bread I ever had was was focaccia from, from mm. Italy. It was just like mm. uh, unbelievable out of this world. Mm-hmm. And it had the oil in it. I love that. I love that was the thing is the bread I had in 
Venice uh, <laughs> <laughs> had that like um it came out with like the real olive oil. I think oh, that's the thing yeah. with the balsamic like, and you mm-hmm. just mix and match. And then it was toasted in that way where somehow it's like a little bit toasty. It's toasty on the crust, but then all it's yeah. just so soft and chewy in the middle. Mm-hmm. How do you do that? I clearly don't know how to do that. Right, but like, man, I would love to learn how to make a focaccia. <sighs> I got the the bread, the um, what is it, the KitchenAid? I got a KitchenAid mixer, ah. and I've nothing to, nothing to make. Look, don't I bought mix it in the KitchenAid. Like, I you bought. Use your hands for that. You think so? Um, yeah, yeah. You don't want to overwork the dough. I'll overwork the dough. Oh. I know you will. But the crap. Ah, you'll cry. That fucking, I'll take that dough <laughs> and I'll work it. <laughs> Why is your dough spurting? <laughs> I'm milking my dough. <laughs> it's a yeasty, ex- a yeasty extract. Oh. This I made a hot. Chris. Kat, do you have anything cool you want to tell us? Um, wow, that was... <laughs> you know, when you put it like that, it, it makes it feel like I'm real set up for failure. Anything cool you, know? anything cool you want to tell us? Like, okay, because like, uh, we got a, a few Listen, minutes left. Yeah. So let people know about you, where they can find you, like yeah. what you love to do. Because you style a lot of really awesome people. Mm-hmm. I guess. Yeah, that that's true. That seems like a humble <laughs> yeah. fucking brat. I'm, no, I'm not saying that. Did I say me? Did I say <laughs> you me? A lot of I, really crazy, I'm thinking awesome Dulce, Pollyanna. Like, I totally had to be like, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> no, I have gotten, I don't know. It's a weird thing to talk about that, but like, I've gotten to style some pretty amazing people. Actually, thanks to you. Yeah. So you're like my unofficial agent, really. Well, there you go. That's pa- what I wanted. Pollyanna McIntosh from The Walking <laughs> Dead. I've um, dressed Dulce Sloan from The Daily Show. I'm actually dressing her for the Image Awards, which are coming up at the end of this month. And she's hosting that? Uh, no, she's not hosting, oh. but she's attending and she gets to wear. Oh. Awesome. A fabulous dress. Yeah. Ooh, nice. So that'll be big. Um, and, you know, I've done like some commercials and things recently. And we're, we're doing a shoot on Thursday. We are. You have to get down to your little skivvy. For the, um, and I was telling Jen uh, that, uh, so today, so I'm doing a shoot for Alomi um plus Hello, size what? vintage okay sorry. or vintage <laughs> lingerie <laughs> or vintage uh they do lingerie they're a company out of the uk they're great you know except that i've just been getting like random pieces of lingerie in the mail mm-hmm. that don't have any like today i just got a bottom i just got a bottom just a bottom to a swimsuit i'm not even I modeling mean, we can <laughs> just got it <laughs> we can do that shoot too it's just different yeah. i also did a shoot over the weekend that's pretty hot that you should check out on my instagram which oh, is, i saw with the flamingos it's yeah and so the pink? it there's a lot more to come um from that because the photos were good so i'll have more to post on my instagram but uh, it was really fun because everything i used in it um ethical fashion is actually my passion mm-hmm. i like to eat food as well but um it doesn't pay my bills. You can have multiple passions. Fashion pays yeah. my bills so that I can eat more cheese. Is really <laughs> fashion is my passion. Yeah. yeah, but you're like super into ethical fashion. Yeah. Um, so the shoot that yeah. I did this weekend was all either like things that people have given me or they're vintage or they are ethical or they are um, thrifted. Yeah. So, I mean, it's really cute. Yeah. Where can people find you? I am on Instagram at style ethic, like ethical. Ooh. Oh. And because I have a little tiny bit of a lisp, so people always think it's an epic. <laughs> Should have just done, gone with it, so it's I that, never had that to do Maryland, that. It's that Maryland Baltimore bullshit. It's that Maryland Maryland Maryland. Maryland. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then I did not bring crabs. I'm sorry. That's okay. We yeah. what? We got this. Crabs. That's a Maryland thing. Crabs. Okay. <laughs> I don't eat seafood, red. so they kicked me out of the state. But <laughs> okay. Um, I thought you were referencing Riley's podcast episode. Oh, and I was like, oh. click, click. No. Oh yeah, the crab. Forgot the lobsters. lobsters. Forgot about that. Jen, where can people find you? All over social media at Jen Saunderson. Any shows coming up? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow? Are we? Are we? Is this coming out tomorrow? Mm. Okay. Yeah, at the Pack Theater with uh, my sketch team, Buckshot, we'll be doing a sketch show at 8 p.m. Should be a lot of fun. Excellent. Cool. Um, I am at Jenny Zagrino at everything, and um, tomorrow I will be at um, Rod Stewart Live. Um, and then, oh, I love the name of that show so <laughs> much. <laughs> um, and then Saturday I am at the West Side Comedy Theater and another other show that I will announce later. All right. I have a PSA Yay. for you. What is it? If you are lactose intolerant, don't eat mango sherbet. I found out the hard way this oh, weekend. No. You're welcome, everybody. PSA. Yeah, if you're lactose intolerant, what? you don't eat any sherbet, you wiener. I don't know. Sorbet I was lact- is the non dairy Listen, that's how I found out I was lactose. <laughs> PSA on PSA on 
on top it's of not pain. Sherbert. It's sorbet. And uh, that's how I found out I was you lactose intolerant. You're welcome. That's a food East fact. goes trash. <laughs> I'm going to need some prosciutto. All right, guys. It's the Bye. best compliment ever. <laughs> <laughs> 